Farming Simulator 25 is about to release on November 12th, and if you want to pick it up, you can use code FORMALPICKLE when buying from the Giants shop. But wherever you may pre-order it, I'm sure you're wondering, how is the game going to look? Can my computer or console run it? And what is the performance going to be like? Well, today we're going to get a very basic view into how that all looks. So, first thing we're going to do is launch the game in the auto mode, which is at a selected as ultra. So, I've not changed a single thing here. This is what the game has decided my computer should run as, and I have not adjusted it. So, we're going to see how the game looks, how it performs with these settings. Then we're going to go in and we're going to change that hardware profile to see how it looks on all the various different options so you can get an idea of what the game is going to look like for you. Now, my personal opinion and review of Farming Simulator will be coming sometime after the 12th, so keep an eye out for that. But we're going to get started with a career save game. So I've already loaded in a save game just to look around the map for a few minutes, make sure that it was running. But we're going to go ahead and start again. So this isn't the focus of our video, but it's really cool to see that you can actually adjust you know, you got your, your presets, but then you can just adjust the starting money, starting loan, and the economy. So you can customize it however you want. Again, starting farm and guided intro tour as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn the tour off. We have three maps to begin, and we're going to go ahead and choose the American map, Riverbend Springs. All right, and then we also have one mod installed, government subsidy right there. We're going to go ahead and start the save and see what happens. So this is what... <laughs> This is not what Farm Sim looks like. I was expecting, <laughs> I was expecting to load in the game. Ah, oh, I forgot, new save. This is the peak of Farm Sim. Dude, look at this character though. Don't you just love this guy? So obviously you got a bunch of characters here. I'm not gonna select him because I've already made my dude and he is perfect in every way. <laughs> So let's get into the game. This is the new Farming Simulator 25, and it runs really smooth. Holy cow. Honestly, I was expecting to have some choppiness, you know, like the first load in jitters, but this is extremely smooth. Those trees look great. I honestly think the game looks really, really good. The vegetation density. Wow. Not my review today, but first impression is you know, it's, it's good. So you got chickens looking like over there. That's really cute. You got uh, the house, grandpa standing out in front of the house waiting to talk to us. You got some barns and stuff around here. I really appreciate the scale. I don't know if that's something that I'm just noticing now, but it feels, the scale feels a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Let's get to right into doing something a little fun. Whoa, there's a soccer ball up there. I'm sorry, my ADHD is going to go crazy. I found a soccer ball on a tree. Can I, how do I get the, t are there, is this a collectible? Uh, or are there not, are there collectibles on the map? How do I get you? They're trolling me, dude. They're putting a soccer ball in a tree and they know I want it. Either way, dude, this barn is, see these barns feel huge i don't know maybe i'm just being weird today maybe it's just me even the sack feels bigger is it me we got a john deere uh ripper here a disc or like no not really a disc but a little cultivator we got a you got the the shanks on the back smooth it all out the uh what you call them oh my gosh i can't think of what you call this piece if it was a roller i'd call it a roller but it's not i'm trying to think of it just drags along we use them all the time on the farm Specifically, just this piece, because we have a lot of, like, uh, for horses, so we like to smooth it out. All right, sorry, I'm done getting distracted. Just new game, Jake excited. This is what it all looks like, though. It's freaking awesome. You got bees over here. I should put on my beekeeping outfit, probably. Bee crossing. Do we, do we have a, do, is that a giant sunflower at the entrance of our farm? Yes. We have a big sunflower leading into our farm. Huh. What does the equipment sound like? Let's see. This challenger's not too bad. Dude, let's hit that horn. Okay. Lights. Honestly, I don't know why this is, but the game is giving me, and by the way, this is not a bad thing when I say this. This is actually kind of a good thing. The game is giving me 15 vibes. Anyone else? It's giving me FS15 vibes, and, and that was a very popular game. There's just something about the color saturation going on that is giving me that feeling. The graphics are improved. They are better, of course. That's not. I'm not trying to say it, it just looks like 15. I'm saying that they, there's something in the way they design this, the way the, the, the light is done or the way the color is done. I don't know, but it, it feels more like old farm sim, and I, I kind of like that. But this is more or less what you need to expect if you're going to be playing the game on Ultra. Now, for those of you who are curious, 
Uh, we are currently running on a 13th Gen i9. We are running a 4080 for a graphics card. Uh, we have 32 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, well, that's really about everything that you need to know in terms of performance for playing this game. So that's what I'm currently playing this game with. But Farming Simulator actually minimum, or they're not minimum, but they recommend a 2070, 12 gigs, and uh, an i7. So we are above the recommended specs for that reason. I think we're going to knock it down to medium. Let's see what the graphics might look like when we give that a try. Okay, we are going to now bump it down to, I guess, very high. We could. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume very high and ultra do not have a major, major difference. Um, but I'm going to go there. We're going to do every single step along the way, okay? So let's see what very high is going to look like. I'm going to apply the settings. We're going to go right back into our career, and we are going to see just how much this might have changed. Okay, this is Farming Simulator 25 on the preset that very high graphics just last time we were running an ultra and i am noticing a small difference in the leaves the vegetation but honestly not much this looks fantastic still so we're running around our main farmyard getting an idea of things that we've already looked at to compare it to there's that tree let's look at this barn a little bit there's the barn coming inside looks pretty good compared to the bag down the alleyway we left our tractor out here somewhere here's our tractor how it looks honestly still looks fantastic i would say it looks just as good if, if not better than 22 i mean very little that i'm noticing in in uh in image quality drop so this is really really cool to see and both of these have run super smooth i gotta keep in mind i'm on a laptop okay and i am recording and i am giving you guys this video where we're going through the uh the visual settings and everything so we were able to play on ultra while recording I'm going to tell you this right now. I struggled to do that with 22. So it's a great sign that we've so far been able to do so in 25. I'm just getting some comparisons to uh, the previous piece that we've already ripped up. I wanted to see. Now, we're not going to get like an actual difference from one to the other, but I wanted to see the animations and everything like that. And so that's how it's all coming through. Honestly, it still looks really good. By the way, the ground deformation, we can see leaving ruts tracks through this field. There they are. You can kind of see them back there. And one thing, I guess we didn't go and look at the animals, which we should have and could have. But again, there's not going to be a huge, huge difference between them. They uh, they do look fantastic, though. Look at these guys. So the way the, the flashlight works now, by the way, is really cool. You actually get a flashlight that you can pull out of your pocket and you can turn on or off. And it actually kind of uh, disperses properly, that light does. So you can kind of shine off. This is a very, very bright light, actually. Wow. But then when you get down up like close to something sorry i'm not trying to push you off honey you're fine i just wanted to show off the circle that's all yeah see but the cows look awesome they look great sorry shining that in your eye but they even have collisions you can ride the cow a little bit ah onward mobile steed onward doesn't mean lay down sweet pea okay she's telling me to get off but you get the idea mm -hmm. look at that you can see the little their hairs you can see their hairs dude this is great. Wait, they're trying to charge me now. Let's pull the John Deere out of the barn here and take it for a little spin. I think, is that water down here, dude? Let's go check out the water. Hold on. What's going on down here? The classic farm sim. Don't take roads. Just dart off in the direction you want to go. Heck yeah, dude. What is this? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Back up. <laughs> Oh, I had the brakes on that whole entire time. That was uh, that was a little close. But that water, you got to see the water ripple. That's very cool. I love all the vegetation density. You got the cattails and everything. Looks great. You got even ropes sitting out here. Can I walk up on this? Oh yeah, I'm on a boat. Nice. This is this is really cool. Look at this. You got a place to hang out. They made a little sailor deal there. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. It's looking really good so far. I'm going to bump it down to the next level. Let's see how it looks. And by the way, we are going to go through all of this in town, and we're going to go through
through all of it at night. We're not just going to speed through this little portion here of our farm. But before we do continue on to that, let's see what the next preset has to offer. And the next preset is going to be the setting of high. Luckily, we have a lot of options to sneak between. So if you are needing to tweak your stuff and you don't want to go into the settings um, a bunch or you just want to start with the preset set and tweak it from there, you got a lot of options, I'll tell you that. And this is the game on the high preset. So taking a look at the sky and the vegetation, the first time load in, we are getting a little bit of a jitter that time, but that's more likely due to being the first time load in. I was a little faster to click in the enter button there, but everything looks still pretty good. Actually, you know, I am, I don't know if that's the preset or if it's, it's more than likely just my computer but I'm getting a little bit of a stutter there. I wouldn't say that that's indicative of what you're actually going to see though. I'm a little surprised of that. We'll let it run here for a second and see if that's the case. I might've just clicked in a little soon. The tree looks really, really good. Bring it over to the barn. The barn looks really, really good. Of course, not much has changed. I mean, you really can't tell a significant difference. Bring it over here. The tractor looks really good again. Let's drive around out here in the crop just for a little bit, just to see that crop destruction and how it might look. So there is crop destruction. Honestly, that's pretty decent. Hopping across the little highway down to some other fields here. I wanna see, how does it look? Is this my field? No, I don't have access to this land. Okay. What about over here? Vegetation still going strong. Honestly, there's not a whole lot that I'm noticing is changing majorly. Like I would still say that this is an improvement. This is looking really, really good. Dude, look at this little area. We're on some back road right now, going along the riverfront. This is cool. I will tell you this game and this map has more vegetation, more trees, more foliage than any farming simulator, period. Like any of their games ever before. I thought that Silver Run, like Silver Run from, uh, what was it, 22's, I don't remember what DLC or pack it came with, but that map what impressed me originally with the amount of foliage and detail. But this looks like it stepped it up, to be honest. I'm gonna sneak back into our little farm here and check out the cows while we were at it. Hello, hi cow, it is me, guy who feeds you. What you doing? What you doing? Oh, got a cow butt, sorry. Grazing, is it good? See, they look really good. And their animations, their animations are solid. They even got a jiggle to them in areas. I pr oh, the tongue, dude, they even animated a tongue. I wanna see you swish that tail. Do they swish their tail? That's a very common cow move. I'm just curious if that's an anim- Yeah! They didn't even forget that. Very good. Okay, what else? Oh, I guess we could look at the old harvester. Got a rotary massey, heck yeah. Pull that sucker on out of there. What's it like to unfold the, the pipe? So that's the pipe, not bad. Unfold the, can I unfold the combine? Yes, yes you can. I am really, really impressed. And when I launched into Ultra, I thought, well, yeah, I'll probably just keep playing an Ultra. But even in this mode, this looks really good. Let's see how it looks taking some of the crop in here. Not bad, not bad. Get some first person action going on. I really, really love the way that they've muffled the cabin sounds. Oh yeah, dude, that's running real smooth. That's good. You can even still read uh, the, 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 what is that, RPM readout there? Okay, let's move on, see what it looks like on the next quality setting which is going to be medium. So we're moving on to medium now. For those of you who want to know what the game is going to look like, if you have to play in medium, we're going to go load in and see how it looks. So far, I've been really impressed. Are we going to start to notice a difference now? Or is it still going to look just as good? I'm curious. This is Farming Simulator 25 on medium. So am I really even noticing a difference? Mm. I guess we'll probably have to maybe put them side by side to really be able to tell. But I would say that at medium, this is comparable to the Farming Simulator 22 experience. That's about where I would put it. I, I maybe, maybe a little better yet still, but it starts to look a lot more like the past farm sim games that we used to know once we get down to this point. But even still, I think better. The lighting quality on that tree, like the way the light hits that tree, goes through that tree, the way we're able to see all of those leaves like that, and all those branches. I mean, this is on medium, guys. This is still, this is still fantastic. The barn, 
Again, I'm going to take a nice big look at the big red barn. Looking fantastic. The textures on the ground even. Seriously can't complain. How are the cows looking? Let's go see how these fellas look. On medium. They still got a really good shadow. I think the grass looks good. I feel like it's not as... I feel like the shadows and the grass are maybe not as prominent as they were. Maybe it's just the way I was standing. Maybe it, maybe I was against the, the shadows. But the cow still looks good. Look, you can see the hair. Sorry, didn't mean to make you stand up, sweetie. I'm just looking at you. You're so pretty, you know? That is actually really good. I mean, you can see the individual hairs. Impressive. Let's go see some equipment for a little bit. So this is the Challenger. This is how it looks. Looks pretty comparable, honestly. I mean, this is, again, this looks like a normal farm sim experience. This looks just as good as, say, 22. Now let's check it out with the Combine here. So we got the Massey still rolling on some of this canola right in our field. Let's see how it looks when we get going in here. So pull right on out, honestly. I don't notice much difference. Even on medium, this looks good. Maybe I'll have to go back and forth and look at the difference back and forth to really be able to see it. But even still, this looks really good. The mirrors, you can even see like, you can see, look, you can see so clearly the little grate, the holes in the grate there. Uh, and even through the mirror, you can see it. That's crazy. I cannot make this up, but I absolutely love my character's outfit. <laughs> he got the jorts, he got the sandals. <laughs> He got the white dyed polo and he got the, the, the sun hat, dude. It's just so good. Oh, I had to give him a full facial beard there because he, he, he just didn't look right otherwise. But that's what the game looks like so far on medium. I want to run down and check the water. I think that is going to be a really interesting thing to see once we've hit this stage of, uh, of graphics. So let's sneak down there and let's see what that water might look like. Took out a sign. Whoops. Okay, we're down to the waterfront once again, the boat where we were last time. So we're driving along those cattails, we're at that entrance. This is exactly where we had tested this last. So I'm gonna just try not lose my tractor, but maybe lightly dip it in the water there and see them ripples. They're still there, they're still really good. I think it, no, that's still good. Hold on. I would say, at a, once you see it at a distance, I can see that's where it is downgrading it. But up close, it keeps everything looking just as good as it should. And I'm not seeing even like the water effect really lacking significantly. You can tell a difference once you can uh, get out a little ways. But otherwise, I mean, where it matters around you, near you, it looks fantastic. And this is the game on medium. Let's go see what it looks like on the next one. Okay, the next setting is low. I don't know if it goes lower than low, very low, it does. So right now, let's try low. This is the low setting on Farming Simulator. Previously, we were checking out medium. I was super impressed with medium. Am I gonna be blown away by low? Am I just, am I not noticed? When we, could, okay, we're gonna have to compare them side by side or something. Cause I, it's, it's, it, this is hard to like really see the difference, which is a testament to how the game looks. I mean, we're switching between ultra and low and they've optimized it and like done the tweaks to get the performance and the visuals to still look really good. Like that's, that's crazy. So this is Farming Simulator 25 on low and you do start to notice it in a distance on the trees but even still i would go as far as saying this is a near comparable experience to 22. like not quite i would say this you get up close and it still looks really good actually once you get a little distance there that's not bad though like these i almost want to put it as this is 22 level even still for low graphics guys low graphics this is what Farming Simulator 25 looks like. I genuinely expected to see a much, much bigger difference. I'm not trying to ham this up either. I, I don't, I don't quite understand. I thought there would be a significantly more noticeable difference. I mean, I, I notice it when you get a, di a little distance away, like textures. Look at the flat textures on the ground a little distance away. You can kind of notice and stuff like that. But anything within distance is just as good as it was before. Genuinely. What the heck? Like here, here's our Challenger tractor. And this is the field that we were in. It, it, it looks just the same as what we were looking at. It runs smooth and it still looks really good. Like look at those warning stickers. This is on low. Compare that to the warning stickers of 19, or you could even compare it to 22 if you wanted to, but like specifically compare that to 19 and you'll see that's not a big step down. I mean, for, for from going from low compared to like an ultra on like a previous game, that's insane. 
How do I, how does the stop sign? Yeah, dude, even hitting things, like nothing kind of breaks there. The most I'm seeing is like, okay, we do have some texture quality decrease going on, right? I do notice that we are on the lower textures, but even still, I think this looks really, really good. The most I'm noticing it is definitely on the roads though. I think you get on that road and you definitely notice it more, but when you're not on the roadway, everything looks very similar to how it did in the other modes. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna set this now down to very low. We're gonna take a look at it see how it looks. And then we're gonna switch it right back to Ultra here in town, just so we can get a view of the town in Ultra. And then what I'll do is leave you guys with some music and some visuals of the game on various settings uh, throughout the times. And uh, I'll let you see how it looks and uh, we'll go from there. So let's switch over to very low and see how it all looks and then switch it back. And this is Farming Simulator 25 on the very low preset. This is the lowest you can go. Guys, I don't know. I'm still really impressed. This looks really good still. Look, look, so very low. I mean, yeah, I understand what it's probably doing is optimizing it so things farther away are not loading in detail. And once we get up close, it's finally, you know, loading in the detail as it needs. But is that not a good thing? You get the good visuals and the best performance on any machine that you want to run this on at that point. Like, my mind is blown. Taking a look at, we were getting the tree, right? Now we're back to the barn. Barn still looking good, dude. Graphics and all, like the, the marks on the ground. I'm noticing, again, biggest thing we probably will notice, at least from what I've noticed, is a texture decrease. But, you know, you can just go in and bump that up if you wanted to. You can customize all of these different little settings. I mean, yes, I can tell. I can tell uh, there's a, a softness to it almost in some spots but overall dude overall like see that doesn't have the softness to it that looks that looks really good this one does it's just those posts the tractor still looks really good we're here in town all of the objects the buildings the people the objects outside the signs even let me read can i read any of this yeah i can I mean, it's 87, 89, and what does that say? 93 or something. So, I mean, I can still read those things on very low. Let's look at the, look, caution. You can still make that stuff out almost. That is insane. The biggest difference, like I said, is gonna be those textures on the ground or maybe that load distance, you know, if you care about that. But otherwise, dude, look at this. The way it loads in, that is so clean. And let's check it down here on the waterfront as well. So we got all of uh, the cattails and stuff going on. You still have all of that, dude. Come down here into the water. Still get that nice water ripple. Dude, this is crazy. That still looks so good. I'd say the biggest thing is it's just, you know, you look at a distance and you start to notice it. But anything where, I mean, even like that, that distance still looks super clean, super detailed. You start to get on textures like the water down to there. Yeah, you can notice it a little, but that doesn't matter at that point. I think this just goes to show that you really don't necessarily need to run a game in Ultra. This is still looking really good by my opinion. I would I would just make a couple little tweaks, to be honest. But I, uh, I really can't complain. Like even when I get out on the road, it's not that bad. Now, again, the road and the textures of it and stuff is where I notice it the most, but even still, the crops look great. The crop destruction is just the same. Like, I don't know, man. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. All right, so we're going to back it back to the ultra mode, and I'm going to check out the town and some other locations. I'm going to give you some beauty shots of the game. This has been our graphics comparison. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to 25. I know I am as well. Make sure you get your, yours pre-ordered now. Link in the description down below, and I'll see y'all later.